Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you've had a good week. Uh, just decided to switch it up a little bit this week and instead of talking like pure engineering or programming concepts, I'm just gonna try to give a little bit of advice, abstract type stuff. Sorry, I'm slightly congested. Maybe you guys can tell by my voice, but I think we can get through this video regardless. This title is probably like the number one most clickbaity title I've ever created, but I really think what we're gonna talk about in this video is probably the number one most important part of becoming an engineer. I'm not gonna give it away right away. Uh, let's just do like a proper introduction and we can build up to this concept, all right? Let's do it. So they say there are no really stupid questions, but I actually beg to differ because I sometimes think there are some stupid questions. Stupid is a pretty strong word, but there's actually a really big spectrum of how good your question is. So at the very end of the spectrum, you could have a really like trivial question where the person didn't really do a lot of research or you could tell they're just being a little lazy, or you could have a really insightful, thoughtful question that like progresses the conversation. Okay, so even though there are no stupid questions, I would encourage everyone to try to ask really thoughtful questions. Just pretend you have like a finite set of questions. You can't really ask them willy nilly and you really have to prepare each question very well because just think about what you're really asking for. Every time we ask a question, we ask someone else to give up a little bit of their time to help us out. Some of the questions I've received through comments or emails are, how do I learn programming? What classes do I take? How do I get about doing X, Y, and Z? Okay, so while I'm really happy to receive and answer these type of questions, I just have to say that they're not the most thoughtful type of questions, and I wanna just use this video to explain that a little bit further. The key point, pretty much the number one thing I personally think of for being a really effective engineer is to be really comfortable being uncomfortable. So let me just say that again, being really comfortable being uncomfortable. So this actually isn't really natural for many people. Like we're not born in a state of confusion. Like no one likes being confused. We naturally want to ask other people questions and get out of the confused state. I remember when I took my first programming course ever, I think in C, and I was just confused all the time. So I just asked a lot of questions like, how do I do this? What does this mean? How do I do that? And I asked so many questions that I really didn't learn or internalize it myself. So one of the key turning points in my learning was when I kind of figured out that when I was really confused and in the dark, I couldn't resort to just asking people, but I would just, you know, struggle and figure it out and kind of like embrace this confusion. And when I started doing that, I really started to like learn and pick up stuff a lot faster. Okay, so my main point I'm trying to make here is that if you're an engineer, we have to fully embrace the confusion. It's not natural, but we just have to embrace it. It's okay that I'm confused. I can figure this out. It's, this is normal. I should be confused. Say you wanna ask a question, how do I learn programming? Well, first you could just do some basic Googling or YouTube and watch some videos on how to learn programming. So you watch a bunch of videos, maybe you don't really agree with them a lot, so maybe you Google and read a bunch of blogs about how to learn programming. So at this point, you've already formed a couple opinions about yourself because you've read different opinions on how to learn programming. Um, so let's say you really wanna ask me, like what do I think? How do I go about learning programming? Well, first you maybe could check, did I make a video before? Oh yeah, I did, maybe you should just check out that video. Did I happen to answer the question in the comments already? Maybe just scroll through and double check that maybe someone else asked that same question. If you're still confused on how to learn programming, at this point you've done so much research that you can really ask a much more thoughtful question than just, how do I learn programming? And I guarantee that the more thoughtful question you ask, the more thoughtful answer you'll receive. This is also why a lot of engineering curriculums kind of force you to be confused. They're like really hard and really difficult for a reason. All the tests, all the homeworks, all the labs, they're purposefully really difficult to make you get used to being confused. So pretty much that's why engineering is engineering, right? It's not really a cakewalk and you're really supposed to be trained mentally 
to embrace this confusion. Once you start embracing this and being able to, you know, like dig yourself out of this confusion darkness, it actually starts to get a lot more fun. You enjoy being confused. You enjoy the process of digging yourself out of the confusion. You enjoy what you learn out of it. And that's really like the key mindset to becoming an engineer. All right, guys. So I just wanted to dedicate this video to this one major point and hopefully it, you know, rings true to you. Um, I hope this was helpful. And if you're an aspiring engineer, just try to ask the most, you know, insightful, thoughtful questions that you can, and it'll really force you to think a little more, which is fun, right? Thanks for watching. Just leave me a comment, um, click like if you liked the video, and as always, please subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying these videos. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, take care.